Welcome everybody to the Sophia Community Circle. It's our second gathering together. Um, we're here with Hazel and Ultraviolet Archer. Really pleased to welcome this mother and daughter duo. They also joined us during the Holy Nights um, and each had beautiful presentations. So if you caught them then, um, you'll be looking forward to seeing them again. So they'll be, um, their presentation is called We Are She, She Are We, Embodying Love and Wisdom. And so this is a dialogue between the divine Sophia and Anthroposophia. Uh, so they'll be dialoguing and I invite you to share, um, to, to put your screen on speaker view so you can see both of their, um, both of their visuals uh, speaking to one another. It will help to enhance the experience. Um, so just a couple of things. Um, everyone will be mute until we'll have time for breakout spaces at the end of uh, the presentation. And um, yeah, my name is Tess Parker and I'm really happy to be with you all. And I'm going to light a candle um, and we can begin our time together. So if you have a candle, um, please light that now, or just, I also invite you to close your eyes and pull up a flame uh, within you and to imagine it that way. So get settled in and take um, a couple of deep breaths and we will begin. Ultra, would you like to open the space? Yeah, I'm going to start with a song. If you catch on, you can sing along at home. Muted though, but yeah, we'll sing together. Open-minded, wholehearted, hands on faith. Let all you do be done in the wisdom of love. Open-minded, wholehearted, hands on faith. Let all you do be done in the wisdom of love. Open-minded, wholehearted, hands on faith. Let all you do be done. Let all you do be done in the wisdom of love. Open-minded, wholehearted, hands on faith. Let all you do be faith. Let all you do be done in the wisdom of love. hands on faith. daughter, my beloved daughter, those that hear your song will know to call you Anthroposophia. Those that seek to know themselves through you come to realize that spiritual knowledge is transmitted through its own nature into love. Wisdom is the necessary condition for love. Love is the result of wisdom reborn in the eye. Yes. And before the being of love incarnated on the earth, you, Mother Sophia, <laughs> laid the groundwork by bringing your gifts of wisdom to humanity. Speak your story, Mama, like you did when I was young. Sing your songs. Let the Pistis Sophia echo forth once more. Recite for me the Odes of Solomon. I love hearing those powerful myths and truth tales. Oh, daughter, not those old Gnostic sagas again. Well, you know, our dear initiate, Rudolf Steiner, told it much better 
as the new ISIS myth. <laughs> True. This modern telling does suit my generation better. And not to spoil the punchline or anything, but I love how Steiner reveals the new Isis Sophia as the veiled being behind the representative of humanity. Folks always seem to overlook that secret, which if they just asked our friend humor up there in the corner, they could loosen up and see how it all fits together. Each entity playing a part in creating wholeness and balance. Yes. And you, my dear, as the being of anthroposophy, are also intimately connected with the time spirit of this age. My son, Michael. Hmm. We work together to redeem the cosmic intelligence, sparking its flame once again amongst humanity. But please, speak to us of the primal light, the wisdom song of the Queen of Sheba. Call forth the presence of the Shekhinah from the mystic Kabbalah and the initiate Mary Magdalene. Ring in the pure celestial Mary, the soul of the three luminaries, to bring knowledge of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Mother, Daughter, and the Holy Soul. We are she, both the source and the aim of anthroposophy. Yes, yes, dear one, it's true. From everlasting as from the beginning I was. Before time was made, I issue forth as space, the first fruit from the hand of God. The deep was not when I was born. Afore the heavens were fixed, I was everywhere, brooding like a dove beside the master craftsman, reveling in the great becoming. Later, indwelling within the human being, I was called theosophy and philosophy, instructing, speaking, listen to me. Happy are those who keep my ways, hear my voice and become wise. I am the eternal feminine, the ever birthing bond that holds together the foundations of the universe. And I extend my being into the soul of the world. I am the ceaseless ripple of, of its joy as well as the crystallizing wisdom of suffering, which opens the door to initiation. I am the ideal held up before the world and in the end, wisdom in love will make the earth ascend as a star. Wisdom radiates in light. Wisdom radiates in light. Wisdom radiates in light. Yes, mother. Mm. And I've been born from you to ask, what must in this time unfold? I turn to you, dear friends, with us today. For once again, a Sophia must be known in this age. Rise up, O oh human beings to meet this wisdom and strive to consciously bring me into your soul forces. Then I will present myself to you, not only as Sophia, but as Anthropos Sophia, as the Sophia who, after passing through your human soul, through the very essence of your being, can live as wisdom redeemed within you. As Anthropos Sophia, I will present you to yourself. When you become inwardly connected with this knowing of thyself, then I can become outwardly manifest again. Those that do not know me are not ready. It's true, a dark veil was put upon me. I was forbidden in the degenerate transition time. Yet I was never not. And you, dear friends, must bring me out of yourself and place me before you as the fruit of true anthroposophical self-knowledge. It is the essence of anthroposophy that my own being reside in the human being. And my reality, my effectiveness can only come from your self-knowledge and your practical application of anthroposophy in the world. I have created perception in you in order for me to be the object of your perception. 
When you perceive me, you perceive yourself. For if you approach me, it's because I have called you. I am nearer to you than yourself, than your soul, than your breath. Lift my veil. Yes. Is not wisdom calling? Is not understanding raising her voice? In the heights and in the depths, she takes her stand. I am calling to you, all people. I was sent forth from the trinity of power, and I come to those who would reveal me. You, who are waiting for me, take me to yourselves. I'm the one who is honored and praised. I'm the one who is despised and scorned. I'm a citizen and an immigrant, heart home and alien. I am peace, and war has come because of me. Yes, much confusion and unrest comes from the parallel of this time with the Egyptian epoch. The depraved reversal of your name must be seen and set right. Terrorist no more. The true Isis will be reclaimed. Truth restored, wisdom regained achieved through catharsis. This cleansed, purified astral body bears within it new spiritual organs of perception, which can then receive the illumination of the Holy Spirit, the cosmic universal ego. And there's something else we can work towards, the ability to serve others, to serve the larger community, the ability to share this wisdom and this impulse with the world. You, human soul, are called to cultivate the flowering rose of the world, to embody the age of anthroposophia. Will you work? Will you prepare your soul and tend the earth for our mutual blossoming? Morality must live in the present, where, like seeds for the future, it provides the basis for creation of worlds yet to come. And yet, the seducer, the seducer works to separate morality from the world picture, allowing only the laws of necessity without freedom to appear in the modern worldview. A flat screen illusion in which the stars move only according to purely mechanical lines so that the moral meaning of the starry script cannot be found in their dance. So, dear human beings, when you look out into the heights, what you see is the grave of the world soul. For my divine wisdom, the Sophia of Isis was slain. Will you seek me? Will you seek me? Isis Sophia, des Gottes Weisheit, sie hat Lucifer getötet. Und auf der Weltenkräfte schwingen in Raumes Weiten vorgetragen. Christus wollen in Menschen werkend. Es wird Lucifer entreißen. Und auf des Geistes Wissensboden in Menschen sieden auferwerken Isis Sophia des Gottes Weisheit. Yes. Dear friends, you are called to search and rediscover the new Isis Sophia through an inner force of wisdom gained through you as Anthroposophia. Armed with the courage of Michael, reflecting the being of love, look for me, dear ones, in the bow of color, for the seducer has spread me out into the astral void. Remember her. Give voice to her story. For it sets forth the truth needed in this time. Speak of the slain Isis, just as the ancient Egyptians spoke of the slain Osiris. Set out in search of the new Isis with the force of the new Osiris, the Christos, the being of love. 
see past the illusion in the science of seduction with a will for good to stimulate your imagination, inspiration, and intuition. Yes, and when your human soul finds the wisdom key of the new Isis Sophia, then, then the being of love will reappear in the etheric realm in a true science of the grail. This is the task of the new mysteries. Wings of the dove, the cosmic fire does inspire in my head the light of thinking, in my heart the weaving feeling, in my limbs the strength of willing. Wings of the dove, the cosmic fire does inspire in my head the light of thinking, in my heart the weaving feeling, in my limbs the strength of willing. Wings of the dove, the cosmic fire does inspire in my head the light of thinking, in my heart the weaving feeling, in my limbs the strength of willing, in my limbs the strength of willing, in my heart the weaving feeling, in my head the light of thinking. Wings of the dove. No, oh, thank you. Thank you for this song, dear daughter. It reminds me that we stand now in that milestone time on the wheel of the year, of the year called Whitsuntide, my favorite festival of the season, when the gifts of the Holy Spirit flow freely to those that would receive them. Anthroposophy brings the first fruits of the Spirit as a Whitsun gift. Yes, this festival brings my essence to light, pardon the pun. <laughs> and for the solidarity of humanity, it kindles the unity in community, the individual uniting with the other to create a vessel, a chalice, a sheath for the healing spirit of truth. In this sense, the Christmas conference through Rudolf Steiner reveals itself as a world Whitson. Dear daughter, remember that you came of age at that new turning point of time for the evolution of humanity. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was and is a living Whitson event. Another gift of that turning point is that now divergent karmic streams have the possibility of coming together. The Arthur and Parsifal streams with true Rosicrucianism can meet the new Michaelic imagination arising within the human soul. A renewed chalice whose substance is love, whose form is imagination and whose light of thought is my future self as Isis redeemed. <laughs> this I shall become, uniting the old mysteries of the lily with the rose a marriage of the children of Martha and the children of Mary, Cain with Abel. Calling ever and again for a renewal of the spiritual quest. How fulfilled I will be when my dear Anthroposophia, living within the human being, arises as the new Isis, the spiritualized, purified astral body of the initiate, ready to receive the Holy Spirit as the spirit self opening the way for the new etheric visioning. That calls for a song. I am the human being, I am the past, the present, and the future. Every mortal must lift my veil, every mortal must lift my veil. I am the human being, I am the past, the present, and the future. Every mortal must lift my veil, every mortal must lift my veil. I am the human being, 
I am the past, the present, and the future. Every mortal must lift my veil. Every mortal must lift my veil. I am the human being. I am the past, the present, and the future. Every mortal must lift my veil. Every mortal must lift my veil. I am the human being. I am the past, the present, and the future. Every mortal must lift my veil. Every mortal must lift my veil. I am the human being. I am the past, the present, and the future. Every mortal must lift my veil. Every mortal must lift my veil. I am the human being. I am the past, the present, and the future. Every mortal must lift my veil. Every mortal must lift my veil. Ah, beloved. Your song resonates out the frequency of faith, hope, and love. A ripe resounding. For the time is at hand. And so, dear friends, ask yourselves, what would it be like to truly live into the we as she and the she as we, the great she, which is in all of us, the collective archetype of the divine feminine that must be reclaimed to bring balance and peace, balance and peace, balance and peace to self and to the world to cultivate the foundation behind the science of the spirit. This is the we and the she that will unveil the new mysteries in our time. So our question to you for the breakout rooms is going to be, what can you do or what are you doing or what do you want to do to lift the veil of the new ISIS for yourself and for the world? What can you do? What are you doing? What are you doing? What can you do to lift the veil of the new ISIS for yourself and the world? Oh, thank you. Thank you both so much. I'll let that sort of question sit and the beauty of what you just brought sit. And I will put the guidelines for the breakout room on the screen before we go into breakout spaces. So we'll have about 10 minutes uh, or so in the breakout room. Um, and I think Laura is making those right now. Um, I can so open I, them right now. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll have a space to share either something that came from the breakout space or um, a personal reflection. Okay. Okay, welcome back everybody from the breakout spaces. Um, if you were listening in on the recording, I hope you had some time to maybe journal or even share with somebody um, in your local environment. Um, so, so now we have some, some time to share anything that came from that. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Um, so I will open the space up. Oh, and you can, um, you can raise your hand uh, if you go to the reaction button in the bottom 
um, and press raise hand, then we'll know that you're able to speak. And you could also just pop in the chat if you can't find that feature. Good morning from Santa Barbara, California. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much, um, mother and daughter, Sophia. So beautiful, hazel and ultraviolet. This, um, our breakout room was quite, quite wonderful. And I just felt all the three of us were very, very ready for what you shared. And our conversation was, um, really very connected and um, speaking to a lot of different areas of trusting the listening, being able to um, also dare to follow what's being called to do um, and to bring back the pieces, the new pieces, um, especially since COVID. And um, yeah, I, look forward to re-listening to this, this gift that you both have given us and so perfect that it was mother-daughter because that speaks so much to me. So thank you. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, uh, Hazel and Ultraviolet, that was beautiful. And one of the things that I'm starting to feel much more is the arising uh, that is happening in our silences together. And um, my neighbor dog has something to say about that. <laughs> dogs on both sides. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was a hurrah. <laughs> but this true sense of comfort in the silence. And for me, that um, it is sort of I feel it as an arising is sort of like this. This communal lifting together of the veil. So thank you all. Thanks, Michelle. We have a lot of people commenting in the chat about the energy between both Hazel and Ultraviolet as mother and daughter and just the presence that you brought together and how that was actually, you know, so, so powerful in of itself, the energy to feel um, between you two. So um, I just wanted to bring that into the space too. Julie? Really? 
I just asked you there we to go. Unmute, so. Okay. Yes, I got it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm feeling a, a little emotional in a moment. This is so, so beautiful. Um, I'm not at home right now. I'm, I'm, um, I'm with my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law. My brother-in-law is making his final preparations for crossing the threshold. I feel very privileged to be here in helping and um, being a support. And uh, this call of Sophia is just very, very strong. Um, we found in our group, our breakout room that, um, you know, we know we, we know we feel the call, we know we hear the call. And we also know that we are in our doing, responding, responding to that call. But um, so much of it seems to be a, a little bit in the dark, not really maybe conscious enough, but just being drawn and, and maybe knowing how to act, knowing what to do. Um, but this was anyway in our group, uh, a bit of a feeling that strength of knowing we're responding and maybe not knowing <laughs> what's coming. But I'm so grateful for this group and for this, uh, the Sophia circle. And uh, I'm so grateful for anthroposophy and this life. Very grateful for this life and all that we can do. Thanks. Thank you, Julie. I'm glad you're here. Nalima? Hi. So I just um, was so grateful to hear Hazel and Ultraviolet together. The mother daughter dance is a lovely, lovely one. And I scarcely heard the instructions for our breakout room because I was leaving one yard where I'd been working to come into this yard, which is where some of you from who, who are in the Applied Anthroposophy course will know that I've been wanting and striving to have bees in my care for a very long time. And we thought that we would be moving to start a sanctuary and a honeybee corridor. And this is where it comes down to making yourself available for the goddess's response. Because within hours of hearing that the land that we were wishing to buy had been sold to another, swarms started coming literally left and right, one after the other, and people wishing to host them and people wishing to learn more and people being astonished that I work with her without a veil. And so the question of the veil being lifted between experience about us is very much a lie in New York. And it is as if all of my supplications and obeisances have been graciously accepted as blessings literally dropped from the sky. <laughs> and um, after two years of waiting, it's humbling and well, it makes my eyes water sometimes. So thank you all for sharing that with me. And um, yeah, that's, that's me. Thank you, Nalima. I think we'll hear one more from one more person, Anne, and then we'll we'll close our space. So thank you. In our um, breakout room, um, we were discussing the the chalice of of we and I and the art of listening. And my very new friend Peter told me about how when we are listening to another awakening within us, a part of us actually goes to sleep, and that's something I'm going to live into. Um, and I feel the gift of 
that and the gift of so many, like the things that will work on us um, during this year long community that we're in. And I'm um, so grateful for what Hazel and Ultra Violet have brought that I don't yet know because Sophia is streaming through them and awakening within me. And, and to think that as I'm talking, maybe some of you are asleep <laughs> and I'm awakening with you is a little pro profoundly overwhelming, um, but I'll be working on listening and having the other way happen <laughs> perhaps more easily. Very happy to be here. Thank you, Anne. Wow. Okay, um, just gonna spotlight everyone. So yeah, thank you so much everyone for sharing and for being here and thank you Ultraviolet and Hazel. Always it's such a pleasure to host you and have you bless us with your gifts. Um, I wanted to just share a couple ways to follow up and find um, these, these beautiful souls. Um, so. Hazel is the founder of Reverse Ritual, which is an amazing blog. I actually get it to my inbox um, and she just has a wealth of beautiful weavings and um, sharings to, to offer. Um, and uh, uh, she also has a podcast, I Think Speech. Um, and she, uh, Hazel, you could pop those links in the chat if you want. Um, so she is a transdominational minister, essayist, lecturer, poet, and anthroposopher, and she works uh, closely with the Chicago Rudolf Steiner branch and the Central Regional Council. So she's um, helping to build our conference in the fall. Um, and Ultraviolet is a songwriter as we've heard and beautiful um, musician and music producer. Um, she will also pop how to find her music into the chat. Um, and it's also on the, the page with all the re resources and recordings. Um, and she has a YouTube channel as well. So she is currently finishing up her studies at the, um, in Sweden at the International Youth Initiative Program. Um, it's an amazing program out there. Um, and she'll be coming back to the States in the fall to be moving to the Columbia College of, uh, sorry, Columbia College of Chicago's Contemporary Urban and Popular Music Program. So lots of exciting, beautiful work that's happening. Um, and yeah, it's just a joy to be with you all. And I hope I wish you all a beautiful Wednesday. And until next time, thank you. Um, I'll allow, uh, we can unmute and all share a farewell. Do you mind if uh, Ultra sings us out <gasps> one last time? Of course, I, I, I was thinking that and I, I, yes, please do. Which one should I do, Mama? Which one should you do? I, whichever the spirit moves you to do. I guess she needs to get unmuted somehow. Oh, there we go. I'm here. Okay. Sing it. Sing along with me on your ends. I am the human being. I am the past, the present, and the future. Every mortal must lift my veil. Every mortal must lift my veil. I am the human being. I am the past, the present, and the future. Every mortal must lift my veil. Every mortal must lift my veil. I am the human being. I am the past, the present, and the future. Every mortal must lift my veil. Every mortal must lift my veil. Thank you. Thank you everyone for being here. What a, what a beautiful sharing. I just, I'm so grateful to be able to work with my beloved girl and, and watch her grow into being herself as we all strive to do in every breath we take. So let's continue to create this vessel together. Blessings, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, <clears throat> thank you everybody.
Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.